the Ovambanderu community has been marred by deep division which has seen the community dividing into two following the death of its leader, Chief Munyuku II Nguvova, in 2008. This was followed by protracted court battles until Ombarakiles Karairwa Munyuku III Nguvova won the legal contest and sworn in as the chief. The Ovambanderu chief believes that government has a role to play in curbing the emergence of new traditional authorities established by splinter groups and disgruntled community members. We are also part of the government, so when we need assistance, especially when we are referring to uh, the groups, the concerned group that are, that are getting out of an authority and want to start their own traditional authorities, the government should support us, they should assist us. While appreciating its decision to recognize authorities suppressed during the colonial regime, the Ovambadero leader says government is falling to the pressure of splinters and breakaway factions. This, he says, is diminishing the powers and relevance of recognized authorities. Now it looks like sometimes government is creating their own traditional authorities. That is what I cannot understand. On the other side, they are uh, talking that the authorities, there are too much. There are too many. There are more than 50. But on the other side, when someone is going to the government, he or she wants to start with authority, they are listening to those people apart from listening to the real authority that has been gasseted by the same government. The same sentiment was also echoed by Chief Shinani Maharero of the Maharero Traditional Authority, saying history must not be changed, neither should it be rewritten. The two leaders were speaking at the Ovamaderu Biennial Commemoration at Oketheta. Jeff Tashihumino, NBC News, Venduk.